What's up everyone and welcome back. Today we're going to be starting off the playthrough of Skate 1. Now I have been wanting to do this playthrough for a while, but I've been putting it off just because, you know, I wanted to get the best quality possible and my product hasn't arrived yet to add quality to this. So about halfway through this playthrough, probably next week sometime, uh, that device will actually arrive and then uh, you can actually see a quality improvement. Hopefully, hopefully YouTube doesn't butcher it too much. But I want to go ahead and start this now because I have been putting this off for way too long. Doc, we got a blunt, heavy chest trauma, yep. severe head injury. Uh -huh. We got a crushed left femur, uh -huh. a combulative fracture of the tibia. What are the vitals? Uh, his pulse is down to 80, and his BP is at 84. OK, thanks. We'll take it from here. Let's get a trauma count. We need a lateral C over here. Can you mount a morphine drip? We need some wacky on attack and a double up. That big toe needs cutting off. We need a, a pelvis drip. This guy is in a lot of pain. I think we got a lot of trouble here. Let's see. Maybe you can get that chain pumped out over there. Oh, man, I got to film this. Yo, what's up, dude? You remember me? I was the one filming you when you got hit by that bus. Dude, you got messed up by that bus. Damn. Hi, you've been in a serious accident. We need to get you into surgery right away. But before we can do that, I need some information from you. Use this. <laughs> Use this. T-Mobile Sidekick. Yes. Okay, my, my stance is regular. Of course, style normal, loose, aggressive. We'll just go with normal. And my gestures, cool, rock, punk, cool. I'm a cool dude. I guess I need to have a loose style then, huh? My boy is looking ripped. Let's go with our hair. Not much to choose from. I think I'm just going to go with that. That's what I always go with. Nice. We'll give him a full beard. Sweet. Sweet. He's looking like a hobo already. I can't wait to get my beard back. 
you know what i think i'll go with this hat i wish you could get it in a different color but that's fine i think i'll go with this it's the most different hat out of everything i've found so far other than like these little fedoras and stuff which i don't really care about i do like i do like this one though it reminds me of the bam margera style like i think he used to wear hats and stuff like that all the time i actually used to have a hat like that you know i've never been a real big fan of the shirts that they have on here especially when you're starting out i've never been a big fan of them I might just go with the generic skate shirt. I like the side logo on it. I think more shirts should have side logos and back logos. Personally, I like full print t-shirts. So now I just need to decide. Do I want the gray or do I... Eventually, I'll probably get that. Or maybe this, not really sure. Do I want the gray, the green, or the blue? I honestly think the gray looks the best. <laughs> Let's just go with these. They look pretty normal. A little baggy, a little too baggy for my taste, but hey, we'll do that. Well, you know, you know your boy has to go with them Nikes right there. I like them Nikes. Oh yeah, I'm definitely going to go with those Nikes. I'm going to look through some more, but I'm going to go with the Nikes. Like, I'm just going to say that right off the bat. We're going with the Nikes. Yeah, look, my dude enjoys that. Look at him. He's like, whoa, look at these shoes. They're amazing. I think one of the things that I like about Skate One the most is the top of the board is actually colored like it's, it's like it's dipped or whatever so it, it's actually colored on some of these boards and i really like that like you can have your grip tape with a red trim around it and i think that's pretty cool i wish they would have done that more with the other skate games but sadly they don't this will be the one i'll get eventually i mean i do not like that graphic at all but i know there's a red trim around the top and that's really what i want i want that red trim and since that's the board I'm going to be going for, I'll just skate with this regular board for now. Yeah, we're going to keep it balanced right there. Tight and hard. I like my trucks tight and I like my wheels hard, boys. All right, let's get started. Spent enough time creating my skater just to have somebody bland. You've taken quite a fall. Let's fix you up. I think that you are going to make medical history. Dude, that was an insane amount of surgery. I can't even believe you're alive. But yo, they fixed you up good. Look at you, man. You are good as new. Yo, let's get the hell out of here. Oh yeah, before we roll, let me show you my backpack. It's got everything we need. And the most important thing, the map. Downtown, it's got the sickest rails, but you gotta watch out for security though. It gets rough sometimes. You're busted. Old Town's pretty fresh too, man. Lots of plazas, lots of ledges, and there's even this skate park that all these dudes built. You wanna bomb some hills? Then we're gonna hit the red. Super steep hill, super gnarly traffic. It is hectic up in there. Y'all even heard about this crazy new spot up in the hills? It's invite only though. You get some sponsors, you get some coverage, you turn pro, you'll be able to skate all the spots. All right, but first things first, San Vandalona has got a great subway system. We can get on the train and get anywhere in the city. So let's grab a train, let's head to the community center, and let's start doing some rehab. Dude, the community center is a perfect place to learn the basics. To do a low ollie, move the right stick directly down and then flick it straight up. To do a big ollie, hold the right stick down until your knees are fully bent and then flick it straight up. If you hold the right stick down just like an ollie, then flick it off to the right, you'll do a kick flip or a heel flip, depending on your stance. To do a shove it, hold the right stick down, then move it around to the right. Those are the basics, dude. Now let me see you try it. Those are the basics, dudes. So I remember when I played this demo, I remember when the demo came out, I actually stayed up all night waiting for that demo to download. But I played the demo so much that I knew I knew how to do everything before they even asked for it. Sort of like that, but I did it way quicker than that because you had a time limit on the demo and you had to hurry up and get through it just so you could skate around and have more time to skate around. 
Sweet, you've got the basics down. Remember, the higher of your trick is affected how long you crouch and how quickly you flick it. I didn't know that, dude. The flick it system is just the start. Time to get rolling. Let's start with some pushing, then we'll learn about timing. Timing is the key to doing tricks up and over obstacles, so get dialed and you'll sl or you'll slam. Now you can ollie, but to skate obstacles, you gotta learn timing. Do a small push, tap the X button. If you hold it down a little bit longer, you're gonna take a harder push. All you need is three good pushes and you're up to speed. You can use the square button to push with your left foot and the X button to push with your right foot. Make sure you get a good approach when ollieing up a curb. Give yourself enough speed and distance and you'll have no problem. When ollieing onto something bigger, make sure you give yourself more speed and more distance. You'll figure it out eventually. Timing just takes practice. It only takes about three strong pushes to reach top speed. Okay. You know what? Break when you need to. Hop onto one of the ledges. Alright. Perfect. <laughs> Easy. Sick. Your timing is coming along nicely. Remember to prepare your ollie early while getting yourself lined up. And that three good pushes will get you up to speed. Okay. Onwards and upwards. It's time to learn how to boost big air. Big air leads to longer grabs, spins, and tweaks. Now you learned how to ollie into the air. Now let's teach you a couple of options while you're up there. When using tranny to get air, prepare your ollie early and wait for your front wheels to get to the top before you pop. When you're in the air, use the left stick to spin your body. Make sure you get your board straight before you hit the ground. Pull the R2 button or the L2 button to grab with your left or your right hand. To do a tweak, push the right stick in any direction while you're grabbing the board. You want to make sure you let go of the tweak before landing. That's all there is to it. Now get out there and let them rip. All right, go all on that thing right there. So that's pretty cool, but I don't know if we're going to have enough speed to actually get to where we want to be. Like, to actually hop over it. Oh, we actually hopped over it. Nice. That, that was huge. Now let's see some grabs. I don't know if we can do that. There you go. Do a 180 spin. I'm just doing all these all together, dude. <laughs> you can use that left stick to spin around. Nice to know. <laughs> you fancy little freak. Nice work. You'll be blasting big air in no time. Holding tweaks and spinning are keys to scoring well. Grinding is all about lying it up, crouching early, and flicking a solid ollie. Once you're in the air, you can adjust the board with the right stick to land into different grinds. Getting on a rail is all about a good approach. So, line yourself up right and time your ollie perfectly. When you're in the air, you use the right stick to adjust your board. The way your board hits the rail determines what trick you're going to do while you're on it. To adjust your body back into position, you use the left stick when you're coming off the rail. All right, dude, now it's up to you to go try it. All right, so now, take your ollie, apply your timing, land on that rail, and boom, you're grinding. Me and like that, do one grind. Okay, okay. So I remember when this game first came out, all that was available was Tony Hawk. <laughs> And this was just a whole new system. And I remember, like, actually having some troubles with this. I mean, we got to think. It used to be it used to be hard to learn this stuff, guys. Or at least for me, it was. Or at least mastering it was the hard part. You know what I mean? You could learn it pretty easy, but mastering it was very difficult. So that's the basics. Way to go. With practice, you'll be killing it in no time. Keep exploring the Flick It system for harder tricks. Before we set you free, let's shoot some footage. After all, that's what it's all about. Yo. All right, all right. Do one flip trick, one grab, and skate for 15 seconds. <laughs> My man is getting tech. We're getting tech, man. Wow, this was not a clean line. I remember uh, you. S <laughs> can't get my can't get my thoughts straight. You can go forwards, you can go backwards, you can ever you can even change the camera angles. 
So that wasn't a nice line. I remember playing with that so much, restarting the demo over and over again. I remember like trying to get the best possible replay that I could for that certain challenge. One challenge down. Let's find out what's next. Check out the mini map in the upper right corner of the screen. The red icon is your next challenge. If you get stuck, look for challenge icons on the mini map or on your backpack map. Okay. So who is this dude over here? I forget. It's been so long since I've actually done the career mode of this game. Yo, Shingo Didi. What up? Yo, Shingo. Hey. What's up? Yo, we got a new player in town, man. Look, I can see it on the tip of your tongue. Go ahead, ask. Go ahead, ask. Do you want to play a game of skate? <laughs> what? Time to play a game of skate. Skate is just like horse and basketball. One person says a trick and the other must match it. Flip tricks and spins only. Grabs and grinds don't count. Repeat a trick, lose your turn. Okay. Oh man, okay, okay. All we have to do is set a trick and I think I can get Shingo out. Just an ollie, perfect. It's so easy for you. It's an ollie, dude. It's a game, what do you mean? Kick flip. You know, I did set my stance to regular. I'm in goofy though. It's like I'm playing against BJ Lad. Okay. Come on now. Pretty simple. Pretty simple. Pretty simple. Watch me mess this up. I suck. I suck. Ah, I suck flicking that way. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Can't believe I got an S. That was one of the first tricks I learned. It's the first trick we all learned in this game. Another Ollie. Dude. He repeated a trick. You can't let this fly. That was sick. That was sick, man. Finally. Okay, Thank you, Shingo. Get out of here. Can we do a 540? Ah, uh, that was not a 540. You're not going to get it. I knew you weren't going to get that. Let's try to get a 540, my dudes. I want the 540. Hey, kickflip 360. Shingo knows how to kickflip 360. That's pretty cool. How do I get that extra rotation? Belt on tray flip 360. So he can't do tray flips. That was one of the best ones I've ever seen. When you least expect it. <laughs> he just talks and talks and talks. That was sick. I want the 540. I love that trick. I love that trick. See if he can do nollies. Uh, what do you mean, wow, Nolly? That's like, they never seen a Nolly before. Well, Shingo's seen a Nolly before. Wow! I'm almost, I'm almost at the 540. We got one more letter. And I need the 540. I need the 540. And I have no idea how to get it. Ah, uh, well, I repeated the trick. Okay, I still got some more chances. Oh, that hurt. I want that 540. Ah, uh, come on.
Okay, he bailed on the Ollie 360. Oh well. All that work for a 540 and we didn't get it. Dude, you kill it. Seriously, you could totally get some photos in a mag. You should try and hook up with Seth. He shoots photos for the skateboard mag. I'm pretty sure he's shooting down at the elementary school. Wants us to go to the elementary school. Okay, we can do that. Tutorials and manuals. So we gotta learn nollies and we gotta learn manuals. I wanna get a 540 down this. Even if it wasn't to get Shingo, I want to get a 540 down this. Hey! 540! Finally! So what are we going to now? We're going to go to P-Ride. We have tutorials to do. Uh, let's just do the tutorials. Was this one of the tutorials? That drop was huge, man! Whoa! Whoa! Jason Dill, my lucky day. Move the right stick slightly up or down to find the manual balance point. To land in a manual, move the right stick to the balance point before hitting the ground. To flip trick out of manual, flick it from the balance point. Okay. Do something tech. Let's do something tech, man. Sweet. That wasn't at all smooth, but nice. Manuals and nose manuals are critical to pumping up your score at multiplier. Keep flipping into and out of manual to get the right feel. Where's our next tutorial? Is it going to be... Who could it be? I have no idea who is over here. I wonder, I wonder who it could be. Who is it? Who's just hiding out over here? Whoa, Whoa it's P-Rod, oh my God. Oh my God, it's P-Rod, oh my God. Oh my god, I can't believe it's P-Rod, guys. I had no idea. Holy smokes. I am sweating. Papa, Papa Molly. Papa Nolly, I'm sweating. You nolly off the front of your board. Nose Ollie, nolly. Holy smokes. Follow P-Rod around the community center while performing only nollies. Okay, you can only do nollies. Let's do this main. Let's do this main. Only nollies. Nolly in all gates. Sweet. Oh my god, it's B Rod. B Rod, man. Did you just see that guy? It's so amazing. Yeah. Yeah. Uh. Come on. Come on, let's do this, P Rod. Maybe I should Ollie right here. Just a regular Ollie. That was a nice 360. Hey dude, that was pretty damn dope. That was pretty dang dope. We got the nollies on the lot. Congratulations, you kept up with P-Rod in a nollie session. Check out the trick book for the whole bag of nollie tricks. So I guess we need to follow Shingo now. Let's do that. What you got for us, Shingo? Follow me. Oh, wow. I I had no idea it was a follow me challenge. I've never played this game before. Follow Shingo to the elementary school to find Seb, the photographer. Don't let him get too far ahead or too far behind. Watch out for traffic. Not everyone digs skateboarders. <laughs> T minus two. One. Left off. What was that? What is it? What is that? What even is that? Whose man is this? Whose game is this? Oh, oops. Oh no. Shingo. Shingo, you're leaving me behind. 
I'm playing like a noob. It's a good thing I never played this game before. What are you doing? You're actually parking on the side of the street. Get out of here. What you got for- Oh, Shingo. Shingo getting checked, man. Yeah, that's how you grind. Nothing like that Shingo fella. By the way, guys, if you see like any gaps or anything you want me to do through this playthrough, put the timestamp, tell me where it's at in the comments below, and I'll try to do that in a future challenge video. I do want some Skate 1 epic challenges. Come on. The follow me challenges are really stupid. <laughs> I don't like the follow me challenges. Oh no. Whew. Good thing we can ride through the grass. What? You see him doing the, uh, I think he's doing gestures and stuff the whole time. Come on, get off. Thank you. <laughs> That's some good ass board control up there. And we are at the gate. Sick. Sick, man. Who'd you introduce me to, Shingo? Time for your first photo. Photos are all about doing trick sequences on objects. Sequences begin when four wheels leave the ground and end when four wheels touch down. Flip tricks, manuals, you name it. Hook up with Seb and follow his directions to try to some coverage in the skateboard mag. Okay, okay, we can do that. Seb's looking for a grind on one of these rails. Check out the other skaters and hit it up. You might end up with some coverage in the skateboard mag. When you find a spot you want a session, create a session marker to place a session marker. To place a session marker, hold the L1 button and press the down button. To return to your session point, hold the L1 button and press the up button like magic. Oh yeah, they don't work in no skate zones, so don't, so watch out for those security guards. 100 points in one grind? Oh my god. I don't have enough time, come on. I don't have enough time, come on. Ah, uh, that was so terrible looking. That's some coverage, that's some coverage guaranteed. That, that, guaranteed, guaranteed, man. Yo, it's your photo, pick one. If you ain't feeling it, you can always do the challenge again. You can always do the challenge again. You know what I want to do? Let's do a hurricane. Sweet. Sweet. I didn't 180 out of it, but okay. Yeah, I knew that was the one. That was the one. Filming 101, scoring a line, advanced grinds. The tutorial goes on and on and on. Probably gonna be at the end of the game, still doing tutorials. Film challenges. Your cameraman supplies the what, you supply the where. That's right, you pick where you film. When you have film challenges to do, you'll see a camera icon under the mini map. Press the R1 button to access your film objectives. Pick the right spot and press the triangle button to get started. Nice. Yo man, I'm here to film. You wanna move forward? We gotta film. We gotta film if you wanna move forward, mate. I think I'm okay. Two grinds, two grinds. Okay, so we gotta get two grinds. Place our session marker. Get 500 points, do two grinds. Sweet. Now, can we end it off with a tail slot? No. Let's do a nose blunt and then a tail slide on the next one. So sketchy. Yes. Hey, it's Shingo. <sighs> she believe me. How old is Shingo? Is he like what, twelve? Ah, stop, stop. You can push your way back up to the community center, or you can use your handy backpack map. Select the challenge on the map to view the challenge details. Also, you can instantly travel to most of the icons on the map. All right, Shingo, just shut up, man. What's this? Mike Carroll? I wonder how long he's been here. He's been filming the illest lines forever, but he's just standing there right now. Damn.
Pretty sweet. Line scoring is all about doing tricks to build up your line timer. Your line starts when the 1.5 multiplier lights up. Keep doing tricks or your timer goes down. Busting out crazy tricks cranks up your score multiplier. Let's do this. Man, uh, I wish I could make everything look as smooth as their cutscenes do. That'd be pretty sweet. Can't set a session marker? Okay. So what do I do? What do I do? We can do something like that. <laughs> Get 67 points in a line. There you go. There's your 67 points. That line was banging, man. Lines are crucial to building up huge scores in films and in champs. Mix up your lines with a variety of tricks, grinds, and big air for the highest multipliers. Let's go to the next tutorial. I think that might be our last tutorial. Chris Haslam. Oh my God. Don't sleep on him, man, because he's still revolutionizing skateboarding. Beat you to it. Looking sweet, looking sweet. Watch Hasm flip in and out of a grind and then give it a shot. Remember to flip into a grind you'll need to get set up and pop it hard. Okay, I thought we already knew how to grind. Looking so smooth. Flip into a grind, do a long grind and flip out of the grind. But where? But where? Let's do it on these bleacher things. Return to challenge area. Oh no. Oh. I was hoping to go into flat. Nice one, you're flipping in and out like a pro. Try doing advanced flip tricks into and out of grinds for huge sequences. Okay. You know, I think I should have done it on this thing. I think this thing would have been a lot better. I don't know what I was thinking. Yeah, that would have been a lot better. Oh well. So I think that's going to be the end of this episode. It looks like we got the tutorials down. I don't know if there are any more tutorials, but I feel like we've gotten most of them, hopefully. I'm done with the tutorials. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, make sure you hit that like button. If you're new, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Make sure you hit that bell so you actually get notified when I upload. Let me know what you think about this video in the comments below. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace out.